Hi, Keith here with Best Home Furnishings. I'm going to take a few moments to talk to you a little bit about how to choose the right recliner for your home. One of the first things to consider when buying a recliner is what's the function of the recliner? The who, what, whys, where's, and hows. How will it be used? Who's going to be using it? Where will it be used? What else is in the room? What are you replacing? Why are you replacing it? What did you like and not like about the one that you're replacing? A lot of things to consider here, but it all helps you to choose the right recliner that's the right function for you and your home. Now this is Best Home Furnishings Petite Mechanism. This chair is obviously too small for me. My legs aren't really comfortable. I have no support for my neck. When I recline the chair, my feet hang too far off the end, and I have no support in my neck when I lay back. Obviously, this chair is too small for me. So this is the Beast Chair from Best Home Furnishings. It's rated to over 400 pounds of daily use. As you can see, my feet don't even touch the ground. All right. Yes, I have full head support, but there's not enough lumbar support because it's an awfully deep seat. And it's tougher for me to recline because I don't have the necessary weight to be in this chair. This is obviously too big a chair for me. Now let's consider this recliner. You'll notice first when I sit down, my feet are firmly on the ground. I have good back support and good neck support. Now as I recline, my feet are still fully supported up and underneath the calves all the way to the end. I lay back and I have full lumbar support, full neck and head support. Now this is the right recliner for me. Now it's time to consider the function of the chair, how the chair actually works and will work for you. Keep in mind this is your chair. You're going to buy it, you're going to pay for it. You should tell the chair how to sit. It shouldn't tell you how to sit. First off, you've got a handle and that handle allows you to assist in reclining the mechanism. Once it's unlocked though, if you're in the right size chair, you can really tell this chair exactly how you want to be. If I want my feet up a little bit, no problem. If I want to go back a little bit further, that's no problem either. I get to choose how the chair will sit. Another thing to consider is what do you want the recliner to do? This particular model happens to be a rocker recliner, but this is also available as a space saver recliner. So it can get up nice and close to the wall. It can be had as a swivel rocker recliner or a glide rocker recliner. You can also add power to this model. And you can also make it a lift chair. A lot of options here. As you can see on the tag, it lists all the options available. Notice also the whisper quiet mechanism. No clanking or clicking or snapping. That means that nothing's rubbing against causing friction. That might be problems down the line. You also want to make sure that the recliner doesn't limit the number of footrest positions you have. This particular recliner allows you to put your foot in any position that you want. You tell it how you want to sit. Best thing you can do when shopping for a recliner is flip the chair over. Take a look underneath. First thing you'll notice is the tacks, snaps, and strap. This makes sure that the back is nice and clean and always stays nice and fresh looking when it's floating out in the middle of your room. As we open the back, we see this Velcro strap here that allows you access to both the lumbar support and the polyfill from the lumbar in the back of the chair. The access panel allows us to get right up here into the lumbar area and even up to the head area of the chair. That means that I can position the stuffing around to my comfort level or, over the years, restuff. Our poly blend is a mixture of both virgin Dacron polyester and these green recycled fibers that give it extra loft and life. Another great feature of Best Recliners is this breakaway Velcro strip underneath the chaise pad. It allows you to restock and reposition the chaise pad, making it look fresh and new. Here you're going to notice we have a solid hardwood frame all the way around. We have corner blocks. And coming down here, you'll see these metal truss plates in the all-important front corners. Note the size and number of seat springs underneath here. You want to make sure that they're thick enough to support the weight of the person using the chair. You also want to make sure that they are tied with tie wires and that those tie wires are wrapped in cardboard and that the clips are siliconized so that there's no squeaking in the seat. The seat spring clips, you'll notice, wrap around the front edge of the solid hardwood front rail. It also is lined with polypropylene that will eliminate squeaking. Notice the thickness of the steel. Also, how much steel is in the mechanism? Remember, thicker steel means a stronger mechanism. This is a moving P. 
piece. So you want to make sure that that metal isn't going to bend over time. Also notice the nylon spacers in here. This is going to reduce squeaking over time. Notice the thickness of the recliner rod, and it should activate both sides of the mechanism. Now look at the leg rest extension. You'll notice six linkages. This gives you up to three quarters of an inch longer leg rest extension. I'd like to thank you for watching today. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any other questions about best home furnishings in your product, please go to besthf.com. Thanks again. Hi, Keith here with Best Home Furnishings. I'm going to take a few moments to talk to you a little bit about how to choose the right recliner for your home. One of the first things to consider when buying a recliner is what's the function of